Okay, Marino, make a play. Make a play. One more spin for glory. Boys, let's talk about quarterback. When I'm streaming live on Twitch, I get this question all the time. What quarterback do you want? Why are you using Vic? Why are you using Marino? Why not Josh Allen? Why, why, why? Who should I get? Who was worth it? Who was better? What abilities? What ability? Questions all the time. But before I start talking about it, let's go ahead and drop who your quarterback is. Who are you using right now? And who are you looking to get if you're looking to upgrade, if you're looking to change your team around, man? Who are you guys looking at? Who are you guys looking to improve? But for me, I've kind of used every quarterback you can most of the abilities i've used josh allen i've used marino i've used vic and you guys know for no money spent i used 84 justin herbert so i've kind of been all over the place and used a bunch of different quarterbacks just to try them i think you have to do your due diligence to try them and uh ea with these archetypes they've certainly changed the way the quarterback position is is played and they've they've honestly made the pocket quarterback a little bit better uh, a little more powerful in my whole life i'm 34 age check in the chat below uh, my whole life the mobile quarterback has been premier it has been the best uh, when i won my belt i used randall cunningham i've always felt like you need the fastest quarterback because they all can pass but at least get the one that can pass and run that's how i've always felt how man has always been but since these archetypes the last two years and with the gunslinger ability and just being able to really zip the ball it has changed the way the quarterback position is perceived and used in madden and i don't know if that's a good thing i, I mean in my opinion it is the peyton mannings of the world the tom brady's of the world are, are super powerful and this dan marino card the fact that he's actually mobile too as you saw from the intro clip uh he's super high power so uh it comes down to this boys i feel like if you're a passer you definitely need that that some type of passing ability to make your your fastballs go faster pass lead go faster now you can use set feet a lead you can use pass lead elite or you can use gunslinger now they are a tier in their own gunslinger is the best pass lead elite is second set feet lead is third that's what i use on justin herbert because that's all he gets is it good enough it can get the job done but you know it's definitely not past lead elite and the difference between those is set feet elite you can't be running you can't be out the pocket you can't be scrambling you have to be set still and pass leading now if you just press the button they're gonna loft it right but if you actually lead it left right up down now they'll put the zip on the ball so sometimes if i have a curl or i have an in route something just wide open i go to throw it with no pass lead where i don't need pass lead and they'll loft it both pass lead elite and set feet lead does that gunslinger zips it in no matter what and you get a little faster animation when you throw the ball so as far as that's concerned if you're a primary passer like myself you know you're passing 90 to, to 95 percent of the game and you're pocket passing for the most part i, I think you need one of those quarterbacks um the speed of these of uh, these passing quarterbacks whether it be marino zach wilson josh allen even herbert i think they're good enough to get out of the pocket get 10 yards on a scramble anything like that so let's go go ahead and 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 take a look at this this website that i use a lot it's mutt gg and it's done mutt.gg it's done a great job of breaking down all the abilities all the prices everything i hope you guys are checking it out when you're breaking down your team and figuring out what you want but we have this breakdown right here Josh Allen. I think the three quarterbacks in question right now, if you guys are questioning, are Josh Allen, Dan Marino, and Michael Vick. Those are the top three, top three tiers. And for me, it comes down to what abilities do you want, right? What is your ability when you go into a game? I want that ability. Now, Gunslinger is the best passing ability as we scroll down here. Josh Allen gets that. You go here, you compare, and you can click abilities. Looking at ratings right here, Josh Allen's a little bit faster. You know Dan Marino gets every team chem, which is actually cracked. So he gets boosted speed plus the power up. Uh, he's sitting at 80 speed, I believe, on, on most teams that are 50-50. Um, and throw power, you know, Dan has him by a little bit. Accuracies, I've never been a big accuracy guy. The biggest thing with Marino is he has this super quick release that it's almost halfway gunslinger. It's like... I feel like you can live without the 
gunslinger on Dan Marino. So then we go ahead. And, like I said, Josh is a little bit faster. But the way it is behind the pocket, I think, you know, the speed is the same. If I if I say that, I feel like they're the same speed. Price, obviously, I mean, if we're on a budget, we can talk about budget options. I'll talk about that later. Uh, but abilities, that's what it comes down to, man. It comes down to which abilities do you want in your quarterback? Now, if you really want Gunslinger, boom, there it is, 4 AP. Now, the one that Dan Marino gets that I like, that I think adds to your offense more than Gunslinger, is Conductor. Conductor, what it lets you do is do two hot routes rather than one right when you break the huddle. So you can block your running back, put your tight end on a delay, and snap the ball. Or you can just, you can just, it just eliminates the time your opponent has to set up their defense, their glitch blitz, their man coverage, their purple zones, their eight man cover, whatever they want to do. It eliminates that time. Now, some people are flipping their offenses. Some people are more deliberate at the line, taking a lot of time doing motions. That's awesome. I do that as well sometimes. You know, I feel like the best offenses, you have to have both tempos. And one of the tempos is the quick snap, and one of the tempos is flipping and doing all those organizations, everything like that, uh, all the uh, deliberate offense of the line. So if you have the quick snap ability and you have the ability to take your time, flip, and do d 10 different hot routes, those different abilities add to your offense more than Gunslinger to me. That's how I feel. I feel like Conductor plus, where is it at? Uh, pass Lead Elite right here for 3 AP. That 4 AP is worth more than gunslinger now of course you also have which i haven't i have not mentioned the where is it the probably one of the best abilities that you guys want to use hot route master that gives you every single hot route in the game it gives you every single hot route there is you know so for me i don't use that you know i don't think i need it uh and i might i might change from here and there it's so cheap at 2 ap that it's kind of foolish to not use it but I've been experimenting, not using it and, and, and mixing it up and ch changing some other things. So for me, if you can have, because you can have the hot route master, conductor, and pass lead lead on Dan Marino, I think that makes him by far the best quarterback, plus his glitchy release. And he's fast enough to get out of pocket and make something happen. If Marino was sitting at like, you know, 65 speed, which maybe he should be, you know, they kind of made him the greatest player ever in Madden, uh, then you know it, it it would be a conversation that maybe all those abilities aren't aren't needed and that's not worth having a turtle quarterback but marino can go get that first down marino can outrun some d tackles he can outrun some d linemen uh so for that alone i think he's the best quarterback in the game uh that that combination of those abilities and still being mobile definitely trumps him over everybody else like i said Gunslinger is the best passing ability, but being able to have hot route master and conductor just add to your offense for sure more than that gunslinger uh, compared to pass lead elite. And as far as the mobile quarterbacks, man, if you're passing 90% of the time, uh, I don't think they're the answer. I think it's hard to make reads. I think it's hard to be perfect. You have to be when you don't have that zip on the football. Um, but if you're running, if you're going, if you have a run based offense and you're only passing a few times sneaky dots and you're using that mobility, maybe escape artist would be better for you. But for me as a passer, escape artist right now is not worth having those lofty passes and those, you know, just the slow delivery that comes with having to use escape artist. Now, when a quarterback is released that can have both escape artists and even set feet lead, that is the number one option. No doubt about it to me. Um, and, and, but that should be a while still. We thought Vic would be overpowered, and he is. If you're if you're the scrambling type, running the ball, control the game, absolutely. He, he's great with escape artists. It's, it's almost undef unguardable. But he lacks in the passing without that, that pass lead elite. And for me... You can put pass lead elite on Vic. That's what I did in my video. And he whips the ball like Marino. His release is a little bit slower. And his speed, he's still fast, most certainly. But it's not that much different from Marino behind the behind the pot, behind the line of scrimmage. So I'd rather have those abilities I talked about than that extra, you know, 11 speed from Michael Vick. So that's why I went back to Marino. I think he's the best. And like I said, man, if you guys are on a budget, you guys see me use Justin Herbert, 84 overall. He's probably 20K now, uh, max. It might even be cheaper than that, the way the market is going. So 
For me, you got to list your abilities. Gunslinger is the best passing one, then pass lead elite, then set feet elite. But the extra ones that field general archetypes get, conductor, hot rod master, will definitely trump those gunslinger abilities and the mobile a little bit more speed so for me like i said i think dan marino is the best in the game i know people ask me this question all the time this is my answer like i said leave the comments like if you want me to break down more mutt players why i use them why i choose them and, and why they're on my team but for the most part uh you guys have been asking so i'll tell you marino is the best he's the most versatile quarterback in the game